Okay, you go to school, Gilbert, right? Do you have recess? Do you? Okay. All right, so we all know what recess is. I thought that was like maybe an old-fashioned thing, but I guess we still have recess. So when I was in grade school, and I was, um, I was probably in the fifth grade, maybe, <clears throat> I went to a very, very small school. And in the whole school, all eight grades, sometimes, once there was even like only eight students. Some grades were missing. But anyways, it was first grade all the way through the eighth grade. And my little brother was there too. And he was in the first grade, I think. And, and so, um, most, well, sometimes we could go out for recess and we could do whatever we wanted. We could play with our friends or whatever. And sometimes at recess, we would all play together. We'd play games all together. And this particular day, we were playing baseball. <clears throat> and um, so there's two teams. You know how to play baseball, Gilbert? Okay, so there's two teams. And so they divided us up, however that was. And um, there's a team, and, and um, te there's one team, and that person goes up to bat, and then the other team has people around like the bases. You know, there's three bases, you, and you hit the ball, and you run to first base, and second base, and third base, and then you run home, and then you get a score. <clears throat> and there was, um, the other team guards the bases because if you can if you can touch somebody with your glove and the ball, then they're out, and then they then they're done. Their turn is over. So um, my little brother Dennis, it was his turn to be up to bat, and he's like six years old, or I don't know, five or whatever. How old he was? Six years old, five, whatever, and. He hit that ball, and he started running to first base. Mm -hmm. Well, Jimmy Dockham was a big eighth grader. I mean, he wasn't a little eighth grader. He was a big eighth grader, and I'm not going to tell you what we called him because it wasn't very nice. But anyways, he was a big boy, and somehow he got in the way of my little brother as my little brother's running for all he's worth to get to first base. And my little brother ran into him, and he fell, and he screamed and cried, and nobody did anything for him. And so I went into the schoolroom, and I told the teacher, I said, Mrs. Farrell, um, Dennis is hurt, and he can't walk, and nobody's helping him. So I think she sent those big boys to help him and carry him into the school. <clears throat> and then they had to call our parents. One of them had to come and take him to the hospital. And he had a broken leg. And um, I'll never forget my little brother laying there with that little broken leg. It was, you could see it was broken. And um, <clears throat> So anyway, they took him to the, he went to the ER and he had a cast put on his leg and everything. Well, I wasn't really very happy with Jimmy Dockham. And I'm going to read you, this is the text that I found that goes with today's story. <clears throat> it's Ephesians 4.30. Two. I'm going to wait and read it after. <laughs> okay. So, have you ever been so mad at somebody for doing something that you just wanted to not even look at them and, and you walk by and you go like this because you're so mad at them? Did you ever feel like that? No? <laughs> well, I did. I was so angry at Jimmy Dockham for breaking my little brother's leg that I 
would not even look at him. I would walk past and I'd go like this. Now, how do you think Jimmy Dacca felt? Do you think he broke my little brother's leg on purpose? I'm not sure. I don't think that he did. But anyways, in my mind, he broke my little brother's leg. And I was so mad at him. And every time I walk by, I go like this. Or I go like this. And I wouldn't look at him. Well, <clears throat> this is our Bible verse, okay? Ephesians 4, 32. Okay, I'm going to read 31, too, because I think it fits. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. I think that was pretty much how I was. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. So, over I never forgot that, and I I wish that I could go back and tell Jimmy Dockham, I'm sorry I did this because that wasn't nice, and I wouldn't want anyone to do that to me, would you? No. And so this is a really good lesson for, um, for us because no matter what the situation is, we need to be kind and loving. And even though sometimes we don't want to, that's the right thing to do. And we, if we ask Jesus, he'll help us, right? <laughs> so... We grow old and we learn our lessons, but <clears throat> poor Jimmy Dockham. That wasn't very nice of me, and I'm ashamed of myself for that. But Jesus forgives me, and Jesus forgives forgives us when we ask him to forgive us our sins. Okay, let's pray, Gilbert, okay? Dear Lord, thank you so much for Jesus, who died on the cross to forgive us our sins. He loves us so much, and we're so thankful um, for Jesus' love for us and for forgiveness. And we love you. Help us to show it to all those that we meet each day. And even when somebody does something to us that we're not real happy with, help us to remember that we need to forgive them just like you forgive us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you, Gilbert. Amen. <clears throat> amen. Don't ever do that. <laughs>